Today, however, I am here for more than just to speak on Dr. Paul's behalf. I am here to begin a debate, a long overdue debate, about what the heart and soul of the Republican Party is and how this party will define itself for generations to come. First things first, if you're a dedicated supporter of Senator McCain and you truly believe that he is the face of the future of the Republican Party, if you're sitting in this room right now and believe that it's big government, anti First Amendment voting record, open borders, pro amnesty philosophies, and history of collaborating with liberals such as Joe Lieberman, Ted Kennedy, and Russ Feingold is what we truly need in this country in the GOP, then you can ignore what I have to say for the next eight minutes. I am here to say that the party whose principles I like quit believing in is not the party that exists today in Washington. I have never left the GOP. It seems to me that the GOP has left me. I never subscribed to a party that believed in doubling the size of the Department of Education, that believed in exploding entitlements by passing Medicare Part B, that believed in muffling free speech by supporting the McCain Feingold campaign finance reform, and that believed in waging preemptive war and aggressive nation building throughout the world, while at the same time bankrupting our currency and enslaving future generations to a legacy of endless debt. If you came here this morning as a supporter of former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney and are looking for somewhere to place your vote and have your voice be heard, and you believe that government should truly be of the people, by the people, and for the people, as the first great Republican Abraham Lincoln once believed, then I have two words to say to you today. Welcome home. There is a place for you at the table with us. Sadly, many people even here do not know that Ron Paul is even in the race. For the mainstream media, the same media that wished for a Democrat to occupy the White House in the fall, have virtually blacked out his candidacy since December. But the fact is that he is running, and he deserves to have his unfiltered, unfiltered positions heard. And thus, I am with you here today. There are many misconceptions that exist surrounding Dr. Obama's position, but here are the facts. Ron Paul, the conservative Republican, I repeat, Republican. Yeah. What a proud representative of the 14th District of Texas, the Republican for the last 10 years. Before that, he served five additional terms for the same district from 1974 to 84. Again, as a Republican. Although Ronald Paul Lamb ran as a Libertarian candidate for president 20 years ago, he is in fact a strict constitutionalist Republican. I'm going to say that again. He is a Republican. Yeah. Who believes our current government is out of control and needs to be put on a serious weight loss plan? Yeah. Dr. Paul is a certified medical doctor who had an obstetrician gone to college in his hometown of Lake Jackson, Texas, delivered more than 4,000 babies. He killed none.
He's never voted for an unbalanced budget. He has never accepted contributions from lobbyists or gone on a government case. He has never voted to regulate the internet or increase the power of the executive branch of government. And he has always voted in line with the Constitution. If it's not in there, he doesn't vote for it. Thank you. 